very clearly, other than the name Randy being used in text messages from Mr. Anderson to Malvina Gowie, messages with according to the published excerpts were neither addressed nor copied to you. I do not have any information before me to support the allegation that you were involved in managing or operating GHI. So you expect Canadians to believe that the Randy referred to in these texts nine times is anyone else but you, that the Randy who was in Vancouver and who needs to be updated on the money transfer is anyone else but you, and you admit to speaking to your business partner on the phone, why don't you just admit that you're the Randy that he's talking about? So the person in question was no longer my business partner. Um, I was simply a shareholder of the company. I had no operational role in that company. And because Purelater was looking to settle an account, they had my number still in their logbook. They reached out to me. They could not contact GHI. I informed Mr. Anderson of that fact. He called me. I informed him that I 